what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're talking about scream six in this video here again today this will be something of a prediction one of the earliest predictions uh related to what scream six could do in its opening weekend domestically over the three days that it's out uh this is coming to us from exhibitor relations now if you're familiar with them you know that they always report on things related to the box office things regarding uh what a movie is made during its opening weekend and of course they have media analysts that work alongside them so if you want to talk to them to kind of gain an understanding of how they're coming up with this prediction i'll leave a link to the tweet that i put out yesterday down in the description but this prediction again is coming from them this is just an early projection of course when the tickets go on sale a more accurate projection most likely will come out given the fact that of course with tickets actually being on sale that'll be a better gauge as to what the movie will do in its opening weekend domestically but they're predicting Scream 6 is going to be eyeing a $40 million opening weekend domestically. Now, of course, these early projections come from analysts. And if you, again, want to question how they have come up with this prediction, you can go ask them. However, this isn't an unreasonable number to expect. Scream 5 was a hit commercially and critically. It's a sequel to a well-known horror franchise, Scream 6, that being. It's got Jenna Ortega in it, who is doing nothing but just making a name for herself left and right. 2022 was a breakout year for her, as far as I'm concerned. And anyone who wants to convince me otherwise, I'm just not going to listen to you. A debut like what Megan just had, which was around, what, like 30 million during its opening weekend? That, to me, is just a sign that IPs that are more well-known, like Scream, and characters that are more well-known, like Ghostface, they should be fine as long as you are marketing the movie correctly, whether that be for a month or a month and a half, kind of like what Megan was doing and all the stuff and antics that they had to hype up that movie. A well-known IP like the Ghostface costume and Scream and some of the big talent you have attached to it, like Courtney Cox and Jenna Ortega, uh, Hayden Pantier's comeback, stuff like that. All of that being used to hype up the next Scream movie. You should be having no issue securing a $40 million opening weekend domestically. Um, I think Scream 5 made around $30 million during its opening weekend, which means this would be like a $10 million increase if Scream 6 were to actually pull in $40 million. And that, to me, sounds good. Once the marketing really starts rolling in during the month, during later this month, I'm predicting, and then all throughout February, all the way through to early March when the movie is supposed to be dropped, then everyone will really start to see the excitement speak for itself. Uh, if they're getting that TikTok stuff back involved, if we get the Snapchat filter back, all of that stuff that was just present and heavily involved with why Screen 5 ended up being so successful. The fact is, if a movie like Jeepers Creepers 4 can catch a case... <laughs> do invisible ass marketing i'll describe it and then make six million dollars worldwide in the end there is no reason why scream six cannot double that at least 20 times or more the general public also just really doesn't care and they're not obsessed with things like backstage politics cast drama and all this other bs that people like me and you who watch videos like this care about they're not focused on stuff like that they care very little it means nothing to them when it comes to waking up on a friday it's friday night they just got off work and they have a craving to see the latest horror movie if they want to go see what everyone else is seeing and what everyone else is seeing is scream you're gonna have a monkey see monkey do ass scenario and that's gonna lend itself to the box office numbers that's just how it really works that social media outrage that people swear represents billions of people it just isn't going to matter when march rolls around it, it ju it's just not many of you i'm sure like myself have friends who love horror movies but you know they aren't watching shit like like what i do on here or obsessing over who is and isn't starring in these damn movies <laughs> they just aren't they'll show up they'll watch it because it's a scream movie and they are a fan of a scream of the scream franchise in casual fashion i have several friends several friends who if i told them nev campbell isn't returning they either aren't going to give a fuck one or <laughs> they just don't simply care uh, meaning they'll be like oh that sucks but they're still going to go out of their way to watch a movie they aren't going to adopt an identity to really just start seeking justice for something that really has no impact on their own life and, and from their perspective anyway because again they're not they're not like us they're not those die hard fans die hard fans are not the only thing that make up box office you have so many people that 
make up what happens at a box office. A lot of them are people who, again, will wake up on a Friday. It's Friday night. They want to go see a new movie. They'll go see the latest horror movie. Oh, hey, what's that movie I've been seeing TV spots on all throughout the month of February, January? That looks good. Oh, that's a new screen movie. I'm going to go check that out. Everyone else is going to check it out. So why don't I go check it out? You know, word of, positive word of mouth could play a factor in it, too. So there's so many things that are, good, that are just going to lead to this movie being a success if they have everything lined up as they should be because again if they don't amp up the marketing obviously parts of me would be shocked if it made a 30 million or 40 million dollar opening weekend again some aspects of me was kind of going to lean in the side of saying this is going to do a 25 million dollar opening weekend and just slowly over the course of the weeks kind of just progress from there because of positive word of mouth uh but like i said if jeepers creepers 4 is a is is damn near making like six million and the ghostface has nothing to worry about now over the next of the three weeks after that after its release i'm gonna say the movie can can do 100 million worldwide not domestically but worldwide uh, a majority of that i can not a majority but a, a section of that i can see coming from the uh, other markets that are not the, that are outside of the states because the last screen movie I think domestically finished at 80 million, if I recall correctly. So with six, I could see a similar scenario play out and maybe the March competition causes it to dip to maybe 70 million domestically or 60 million domestically, but I'm going to go with 70 million. But then over overseas, you have you have an extra 30 million there you have it there's your 100 million mark and that would be enough to justify a scream seven that would be a hit not a flop if they announce a seventh movie then the last one was a hit it was not a flop because you know if they announce scream seven and scream six's numbers dip down from the 140 that scream five did people are still going to say oh well you know it didn't make as much as five who cares they're still doing seven because it was a hit it was not a flop your thoughts on it being a flop did not come to fruition, and I'm certain it's not going to happen. There's just so many people who I think they th they have a mindset that's solely tied to outrage they see on social media, and they think that that outrage on social media now applies to this person or that person, the people they work in the office with, the people they might be sharing a, a bus ride home with or a bus ride to work with or sharing a train or whatever it is you do. Not everybody is entertaining this social media shit. They're just not. <laughs> the general public is going to show up and they're going to show out for Scream 6. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. What do you think about this early prediction? I'll again leave a link to the tweet in the description if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video